What's good, YouTube? It's your man, BG Tech Life. And today we're gonna talk about what's on my Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3, guys. Now we're gonna keep this thing pretty simple. Um, it's, it's not gonna be talking about a lot of the apps that I have because I just wanna talk about the overall setup. This is a very interesting device to set up. Um, I'm still kind of setting it up, but I'm gonna share with you guys what I got because it's just so much you can do with this device. And to make it, to get the optimal use out of this device, you have to have it set up right. So, as you can know, we got two screens and basically they two different setups. So let's talk about what's on this first display, this outside display. And as much as backlash as this outside display get, guys, I mean, it's almost a whole phone on side, outside of your phone because this is the fold. It's all about the big screen. And for you to have this much screen, I mean, yeah, you can knock it, but at the end of the day, it's very nice. It's nice just have, like, it's on here, guys. Like, you know what I mean? This is just the outer display, and it's very smooth. I mean, my biggest gripe, I mean, it's, it's tall enough, of course. It's just narrow, and the keyboard sometimes, my fingers are big, but I just have to be extra careful. But as much as we knock it, it's great to have it. So let's just go ahead and, um, as you can see, the thing with these wallpapers, guys, is AMG Benzes. I got AMG Benzes all through the, um, all through my all my wallpapers because I like AMG Benzes and I have an app that's very good that I was having problems finding wallpapers for this device because it was square and um you know just different ratios and you know it's not the normal six by nine but I found I went to a go-to app and it it kind of like the wallpapers that it have I'll, I'll show you guys I'll show you guys we, we aren't gonna get into it right now but as you can see this is just the lock screen and I keep a simple um just you know the clock and i keep you know i get my notifications just just the uh just the symbol like as you can see voicemail guys so that is the lock screen on the outside screen let's go ahead and unlock it now guys this is the quick go-to screen guys this is the quick go-to screen so i got you know things that i want to might want to check quickly on here i might want to play some music i might want to watch youtube i might want to go to my instagram check my likes on bg underscore tech life i might want to go to facebook check my notifications for bg tech life on facebook as you can see i got a quick um clock date and the weather and i i, I this is the samsung ui i made it dark it looks pretty nice dope with this again amg benz wallpaper now um I kept I keep the Samsung UI on here for right now because when I first get a device, I, I feel like Samsung got a lot to offer. The uh their UI is pretty smooth now, guys, and there's a lot to offer. So there's no need for me to jump on over. I want in the re review period, I want to see what Samsung really has to offer. And um, so just pretty things I want to get to quickly. And also I keep the uh edge apps. I set up the edge, boom apps i want to get too quickly so maybe i want to check some i want to make sure i order something on amazon i don't know why i have youtube on here that might be redundant but um just things i want to get too quickly so i i have access to a lot of apps without even opening the app drawer in my home screen and i can check things like i said i want to get to um in a rush and you know i'm not really getting into the device because i haven't opened it but if i'm in a situation i would just want to check something i got to set up where i can get to pretty much everything that i look at pretty quick now, if I swipe to the um, to the left, guys, I still have the, uh, I, I love this, you know, the option that you can have your Google uh, kind of feed going on right here. Because Google feed always has things that I find interesting, you know, it kind of knows me. So I like this Google feed on here, guys. I kept this on here. I like this. I like the bit of swoop. And sometimes I can just, you know, to, uh, swipe up and down and catch up on some things that I might not know know what's going on especially in the tech world as you can see but uh, okay so um that's just basically there and you swipe to the right I keep a, a quick uh you know for my email just quick email stuff and the calendar because a lot of times you got to figure out dates and times got like dates and days a lot of times i'm in a situation where i need to know okay what day is the 25th the 25th is sunday okay cool boom so that's just things i need to get to quickly that's how i set up the outer display okay now we're going to open up the inner display let me lock the device we're going to open up the inner display and this is the lock screen guys as you can see another nice amg Benz. it's pretty much just like you know it's kind of like the uh 
you know, it's kind of like the outer lock screen, you know what I mean? Just get simple, uh, uh, simple picture, simple notification pictures of the app, you know, where I got a notification. I can't like to keep it simple like that. And, um, but as you can see, man, this wallpaper looks really good. I was having problems at first, like I said, finding wallpapers. I normally would search Google. And when I was looking for the square one by one wallpapers, they wasn't there. But like I said, uh, my go-to app, you know, it takes all the wallpapers on the app and put them in a ratio for the screen that you need. So I was able to, you know, find something dope, dope look. I think I, this is dope look guys for the, uh, for the wallpaper now okay boom here's my home screen on the inside guys um of course i use a lot of google stuff so i got a google drawer and then i just got the go-to apps guys as you can see we're not really going over apps i don't want to make it nice and clean as you can see got the amg bins um basically what i did was elongated again another uh samsung widget i think they look good guys i think this is a good look there's no need for me to go crazy i love the way that the apps look the apps pop they're colorful on the screen vibrant samsung screen i mean you guys already know what it is when it comes to samsung um i was able to adjust the uh google uh search bar so that way you can see the color the uh another amg benz nice and clean got my apps that i need you know my, and i still also got my I got my uh, app drawer that I just swipe out, guys. And what I did with that is I made the. Let me go. Let me go and show y'all what I did as far as the app handle, because I don't like how the app handle looks. So I just went to settings and um. Let me go back. Okay, I was able to go to handle. I like to have make my handle very big and very transparent, as you can see. It's the largest, so I know like it's a big area that I can swipe, so I can just go from muscle memory and know my thumb is about here. So I swipe, I pull out my Edge apps, you know what I mean, and um, it'll be, you know, it's there, but it is not on the screen. I don't like how that looks, so I just made it large and I made it transparent, guys. So boom, go home as you can see, and it's not there, but I swipe, boom, my apps come out. I think that's very dope, and I'm um, like. This, this is just a copy of what's on my outside screen. Got my emails, got my uh, got my uh, calendar. So, okay, I'm gonna talk about that. It, the, the phone is in dark mode, guys. I keep the phone in dark mode. I like how dark mode looks on the device, guys. Um, I think that's just very dope. Um, swipe up, it's just a simple app drawer, guys. Nothing crazy going on, guys. There's a lot you can do to set this device up with guys um just to talk about that a little bit um as you can see um i keep it i, I don't like the adaptive brightness i like my screen bright as possible i'm not chasing battery life so i keep it bright as possible take the adap adaptive brightness off i keep the motion smoothness on i don't want the 60 hertz guys i'm not i'm not chasing battery life um, as you can see, we got a battery, a battery to power bank right there, and I'm in the house so I can charge it. Um, as you can see, you already know what I did with my wallpapers, guys. I'm gonna show y'all the app in a minute. Matter of fact, things I didn't really mess with the themes. I did my own thing. Right now, the phone is AirPlay mode, so some of the stuff you might not see, but you can actually theme the phone. Some of the you can't get icons. I noticed that, so you can't get icons on this device. Um, I kept the uh, home screen pretty, you know, pretty much um, stock, except for the couple things that I did that I showed y'all. The lock screen, always on display. Tap to show. That might save me some battery life, but I'm really gonna cut that off because I like my my uh, always on display all the time. I'm not chasing battery life, guys. I'm when I get a phone, I want to utilize it to its full potential. And of course, I got I mean biometrics. I got the face, I got the face unlock set up, and I got the uh, fingerprint set up. So it's just really, you know what I mean? It's, it's not, it's, you know, it's simple, guys. I'm keeping it simple. You know what I mean? Um, basically, oh, and what I do for my wallpapers, the app that I use was, was Edge. So okay, let me let me take the phone out of airplane mode. Okay, guys. Now this is Edge. Really dope app here. Um, what we got going on actually is wallpapers. And as you can see, I have the phone open, and we got like this one by one square type deal going on. And as you can see, 
the wallpapers that are on this app because I have this. I'm not sure if the phone does this. I'm not sure if the app does this. I just know it's dope. So, as you can see, like all the wallpapers have been converted to a square. So you can see what they look like in square, a square type deal. And you can see if you want to use them. Very, I just find this very dope. And I think, you know, it helped me my setup a lot because I hate just the factory look, guys. Now watch this. Now this is very slick, guys. Watch when I close the device. Close it. Let me go back to Zedge. Now, look, as you can see, now they got it in a tall, narrow ratio, just like the, uh, just like this outside display is. And you can see if this is what you want to use, this is how, how it will appear, guys. So shout out to Zedge. I think that's very dope, guys. So I just wanted to, this, this is just a little idea, guys, of what you can do with your device and how I got my device set up for down, guys. Um, I think it's pretty dope. Shout out. You know, shout out to you guys for watching and supporting the channel. Um, it's your man BG Tech Life. Follow on Instagram and Twitter, BG underscore Tech Life. It's your man BG. I'm out. Peace.